Oh my lord, what is happening? Another massive ghost pack. Well, welcome to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we are going to die uh, in a combat against a massive ghost pack. This whole research has gone so inadequately wrong that I am hoping we're not uh, going to lose our characters here. Let's jump into the combat and see how it goes. Ooh, rah, nasty one. This is potentially... Oh, that's escape mode. You must reach the escape area and flee with all of your characters. Um, but you can no longer retreat. Once, you, uh, once you're in the target area, use the flee skill. Ooh. Well, you know what would be fantastic here? Inspiration. That would allow us to just run like the wind. can already see that this is not going to go well. But before we start, let me think this through. Let me think this through. Okay, I was a bit surprised by that massive <coughs> nightmare which is catching on to us. So, here we go. We need to go through that map. Got a couple of ghost wolves. They should be easier. And the boars, which are a little bit harder. So we are lacking Valor, uh, which means generating that will be one of our prime priorities. Zoe is the slowest of the bunch, so I want to move her as far to the front as humanly possible. And if we check this, if we check this, that'll be a quadruple... Okay, well, Zoe needs to go here then. Short move to here. Quadruple orderly. Full sprint. Move just as far as humanly possible into the battle. Gain one Valor and uh, take on the wolves. Good. Now, the next logical question is, what can we do with the rest of the group? Could move up, sprint, <coughs> engage with this guy, and close the front line, which I th uh, think is the way to go. Unfortunately, we won't have extra Valor to spare at this point. I could go with Destabilizing Strike, which would bring him into a reasonably, uh, mm, reasonably dangerous spot. Yeah, and then Vigilance, essentially she striking back will kill him. No, one hit point. Oh my gosh. That should be a kill finally. There we go. And let's keep that reckless shot, shall we? Oh, we are even shooting. Well, wait a second. Are we still shooting through them? No, we're not. Okay, the reckless shot is still just hitting one. 
But we're moving as far as possible forward. Okay, we're getting two Valor now. Plus a kill. Oh no, we're not adjacent. Oh no. Well, that was just one little bit too far away, but we're getting one Valor here. Okay. Well, the Valor production really seems to be the main problem. Which motivates me to get to here. Get Valor going. Nice little reset. Further reset, I like it. All right. Um, look, we can sprint through that next turn and they can't sprint to us. So that's a win-win. It's not a lot of damage with the spear. Uh, matter of fact, it's no damage with the spear because we're just out of range. But we are far ahead of the pack, which isn't a bad thing. Zoe moves up. Zoe sprints, that will give us more Valor. Polly moves up and sprints, and that's okay. And finally, the Usain Bolt of our group, Roby the Bear, is just sprinting further than anyone else. Well, Usain Bolt would be incorrect because he's just sprinting faster than anyone else. Wow, I need to adore that thing for a second. Holy macaroni. So, it apparently has fought a lot of enemies. Look at the halberds and all of that um, sticking in it. Even an entire war banner. Who would take the time to ram two spears into it, then put a chain around it? Someone might have caught it at some point, and you see that massive chain around its belly. The arms are plenty creepy. It has two rows of teeth, because that is how you know that it, uh, something is extra evil or hardcore when it needs more teeth to chew. Cool. Well, 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 well. Friends of uh, the entertainment. Okay, here we go. Time to teach uh, these enemies here a valuable lesson. To not mess around. <clears throat> Alright, bleeding. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and just when you think that you... That you're running out of skills, there is still one more skill that you can use to finish it. Anders is 
far ahead of the curve. Okay, so so Zoe speeds up, moves to here, hits the ghost wolf, kills the ghost wolf. And we're continuing to move, even if that means that we're getting a little bit less Valor. Roby sprints up, engages with a Ghost Wolf. Get out of here as fast as humanly possible. Good hit. It's not killing him, but still good hit. Namri moves up. And then decides to sprint. Jim does the same. Regains some of the valor. JP. Moves up. barely out of range, which is hilarious. Can't push it any further. And we're not going to use a sprint on Miss Grell. That would be wasteful. Okay, everybody gets a bit more terror. I see how it is. Roby sees it as well, which is the reason why he begins to engage. Uh, almost there. We can't move out of here yet, but I'm pretty sure we can finish one, if not both of them. There is a good hit. I like it. Good. War is down. When it reaches this area, they can use the flea skill to leave the battlefield, which currently we won't, don't want to do. I think we're fine. Okay, flea, you can't attack and flee, that's... That's good information, I guess. Moves up. Can we sprint somewhere? No. JP's just screwing himself over all the time. Well, we got a ghost wolf here. Namri begins to move in. 
engage said ghost wolf. Yeah, and I think we are okay. We don't need any other action from her. There's the kill. Moving as far forward as possible. Wolf takes damage. We're putting aim in. And the single shot <coughs> finishes the wolf. Okay, cool. Namri is uh, Zoe is amongst the slowest, so we're just going to use sprint for her. Miss Grell isn't super fast either. I suppose less wolf sausages for you guys during the next rest. And a little bit more cardio. Okay, the wolf is in the very middle of uh, that green zone. Mm, Enders, 106 points of damage. I think he could pull it off. Oh, there is a boar. Okay, well, we're, we're going to wait. Uh, there's no point in doing that now. We need two rounds anyways. So, might as well... Kill the enemies now. Rovi moves up here. Starts to injure the wolf. End of turn. We're moving everyone next turn. We can flee. the kill we've been waiting for and I'll just leave it there everything else would cost way too much moves up and turn Namri yeah, the sprint skill here is a bit bugged um, because there is underbrush, you can't just sprint there apparently. Alright, we don't want to waste anything, so getting that extra Veiler is helpful. Uh, Zoe tries to get aim, eliminates the wolf, and we're continuing our good stack of aim, uh, of Valor. Let's make sure that this ghost boar does not. Uh, mm, apply terror to anyone and Miss Grell moves up that big thing is plenty scary
taking out the boar and then fleeing. <clears throat> Dilly G is the first one off the battlefield. Does make him a coward, just means he was fast. So, fur of the beast. This fur looks more like a rope than an animal hair. A sense of unease overcomes you if you look at it for too long. Each time this unit should be affected by terror, it gains rage instead. That is a massive item for these fights. Every time this unit engages in combat, they have a chance to apply blackout. Only usable in good weather. That's a fantastic item as well. Um, yeah, we're putting it on to Pauly. Uh, he was one of uh, my tanks, was brave, no, was immune to uh, fear. Here, immovable. Nemory does need it. But uh, JP Pauly could use it. And boy, we do have. We have uh, survived that. I wasn't uh, thinking it would be uh, that easy. We have a lot of wolf meat. Speaking about which, I think we can potentially master cook our way out of this. Oh yeah, wolf sausage, plenty. Okay. we going to do well, we are uh, creating honey <clears throat> we're creating leather we could create some beer here and yeah, not needed uh, generates one during rest generates an extra if at least one uh, companion is assigned maximum valor increased by three so I think what we could do, I mean, that extra happiness isn't bad either. I like it. Yeah, but you can't have it all. I mean, with that party, you need to make some sacrifices. We need uh, mm, the production of tinkered resources for our armor. And the tent is good, but yeah, it's not. you can't have uh, all of it at the same time. Good, let's speed this up. You're kidding me, right? Well, we're distracting them with uh, some ghost carcasses. Yeah, no, we're not going to give you more wages. Forget about that. Uh, that's minus five to our happiness, which absolutely stinks, but we will get more happiness soon. Okay, 
back to the other uh, side because what just happened is we have essentially unleashed the uber pack of uh, nightmares so if I had to take a guess I would say someone is unhappy about that and at least the scholars uh, that have had the adventure with us together weren't foreseeing I weren't foreseeing that at all. Good. In terms of just skills, I think in that last one battle, uh, the extra movement speed, so the inspiration would have gone such a long way. It would have been out there in potentially like two turns. But in general, the 15 movement speed actually work reasonably well do we really want to go down there hmm I guess we can run Wonder. We have found quite a few keys. Do we have uh, the key for this trapdoor? Oh, no key is required. I just left it open. I see. Well, might explore that whilst we are going back. One thing that I learned about exploration is it almost always pays off. The game has a nice incentive system for exploration. This hideout is no longer safe, now that the guard is on our heels. I am looking for a way out of Ludern, and mercenaries such as you would certainly make things easier for All us. All right. Protect us until we get to safety, and you can have half of our supplies. Deal. We'll meet you outside. We smugglers are the only ones providing the people of Harag with plague remedies. To think that the guard wonders why no one wants to rat us out. Yeah, the cure for the plague I is helpful. Very helpful indeed. So whenever we're seeing it, I feel obliged to steal it. All right, got a little bit of a side mission going here. Are you telling me the guards have immediately engaged with them? We got you. Mercenaries, it's your lucky day. These smugglers have a bounty on their heads. No need. We've already hired them. How did you... You've been careful not to say why you were wanted, haven't you? Look at them, mercenaries. They're nothing but profiteers charging a fortune for the plague cure. No! They raid our tombs, where the gods dwell, and then sell our relics to the highest bidder. Relics? Those little shards of baked clay? I'm surprised we can even find buyers for that rubbish. You should be thanking us. We're cleaning up... Oh, the I see what it is. Dare you. Mercenaries, you can't defend bandits who scorn our gods and our relics. Huh, difficult. Difficult. I mean, we're thieves ourselves. But this year... Ah, that's a difficult decision. How would we roleplay that? I mean, under the new limelight, uh, they were actually... Indeed, the evil guys, so... We might help the guards here.
Okay, so you're important, which means you need to stay all the way back there. And be protected by your own man. Why is this a scattered battlefield once again? That's my only complaint. These battlefields tend to be so scattered. All right, we're running over here and cleaning this one up for sure. In which case, I think I'm going to do this here. Okay, cool. Well, let's start with orderly. And whilst we're at it, move in. Hit this guy. Mm, nice. Good hit. And weaken him. All right. Believe it or not, that was even doing us a favor. Good, we want to get the enemy DPS off of the battlefield. Some of which is up here with a poacher. Nice hit. And a kill. Moving over here, getting a Valor, and just making sure that they have no repercussions. DPS here, DPS are there. Hmm. It's a bit more delicate. Good, that would be a triple hit. Cannot not do that. And you are relegated to here. Very good. That will sort of take them out of combat for now. Okay, fantastic. Well, triple hit, right? Right. Moves up here, sprints to here. One, two, three, and a fourth one. A very good. going to do I mean we could move back here and just let the smuggler come I suppose why not there's no point in standing there I was hoping we could get wrath but we cannot And she's the boss. I see. Okay. I see how it is. Very good. Healing the poison. We have seven stacks on us ourselves. Okay. That needs some urgent healing. Ah. 
Um, let us sprint to here. Knock this guy off uh, his feet. And then we're pretty much okay. Nice little retaliation. The site uh, seems well covered. But I want Valor. And the only way of how I can obtain a sizable amount of uh, that is by having allies nearby. And two, it's not going to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sprint over. Not perfect, but good enough for now. like a charm get rid of the seven poison and move over here Bear moves up and teaches this archer a valuable lesson. Good old Roby. Okay, this wrongdoer is soon going to act. Move up. Solid hit. And let's put him back, which he will die on his turn. 72 points of damage, nice. Anders moves up. Double hit. Finisher. Kills this guy. And this guy, and I think this is the battle already. Yeah, only one archer left. Easy. Level 7, appropriate gear, um, that's a light armor which we actually potentially can use. That was an impressive fight. We're glad to be rid of those smugglers. Good work taking out that group. Okay, so what are we talking about? More armor, more movement more critical hit I think it's quite clear that 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 this here is the very much better armor cool I like it good armor upgrade and with the edit critical hit uh, and movement we're actually doing well Good, we got a bit uh, sidetracked, so we need to go to over there.
And in order to not carry too much around, let's get rid of this and that and that. Very nice. Um, still can't upgrade. Oh, we're missing chains. I see. Good. Our experience with the dummy starts to pick up. Enders, who's training like a madman on the dummy, is almost two thirds of the way to to level eight, which will be a great breaking point for us. Huge um, upgrade in power. We're getting a new tier of skills, if my memory serves me well. We're also um, going to get new equipment, which will be helpful, and of course, stat upgrades. It would have been a shame to lose such reliable allies. I am pleased to see you safe and sound. What a tear-jerking reunion. Let's get straight to the point. Thanks to you, the beast showed up in Luderne and the whole region was thrown into disarray by its unexplained appearance. Well, it's not unexplained. It's all going according to plan. While the trackers and the guard are giving this calamity their undo. You understand what this means, mercenaries? For the first time in history, the Ludern tomb is within our grasp. The treasures, wisdom and secrets within will soon be known to us. Would you like the honor of unveiling them with us? You have our trust. Oh, sure. And we... Time is of the essence. We managed to lure the beast here, but it won't stay long. As soon as the trackers realize it's gone, they will come back to defend their tomb. Okay. I somehow get the feeling we sided with the evil guys. I sided with them because they were the voice of reasoning, but now it seems they are not academics, but just merely looters. Which isn't great. Anyways, I'll make my way to the tomb. Uh, that's going to happen uh, the next time. For now, we're at the end of today's episode. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If uh, you want to loot a tomb as well, the secret entrance uh, to that is hitting the like button because that's the Indiana Jones switch to opening the vault for the first time. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.